Hi, I'm Gordon Waite. I've been working on this 20 inch f4.5 quartz mirror and I'm in the figuring process right now and I find myself with an interesting problem. I've got a high zone on the mirror at 8.2 inches radius out here. This is a 20 inch so the whole thing would be 10 inches. Uh, now normally what you do when you have a problem like that, it's a very narrow little zone that I need to reduce at 8.2 inches. So normally I'd take a little lap like this little 3 inch lap and I'd work it tangentially like this as the turntable goes around. But the issue here is that every time you use a pitch lap not only does it work in the center but it has a right edge and a left edge. Now in this case with the right edge, the right edge is going to be out in my last zone which is zone 9 on my mask. That one's just fine because that zone's a little undercorrected, so uh, reducing this area inside it will uh, help that. But the area on the inside which is around zone uh, six, five, between five and six where it touches. I don't need any work done there. So if I use uh, this little tool, this three inch tool, it's going to put some correction in here where I don't want it and make some effects out there where I don't want it. Now the problem with any zone out here on the very edge of the mirror is that it takes a lot of work to correct it. Uh, it's a lot of surface area to go all around the mirror and this is a very teeny lap. So you can't do it just in one time around. It's going to take uh, you know five or ten minutes of work to put the correction in that I want on that thing. So if I was to work 10 minutes with this little pitch lap, uh, it would help the zone that I want, but it would hurt the zone over here. So uh, I've got to come up with a solution for that, and my solution is to use multiple pitch laps to make the correction. So what I'll do, uh, for example, if I think that it'll take six minutes to do the entire correction here, I'll start with this little three inch pitch lap, and I'll do two minutes uh, with this little three inch lap. But then I'll switch out to the next bigger one, the three and a half, and I'll do two minutes with that, and then finally I'll switch out to this four and a quarter inch pitch lap, and again putting the center of the pitch lap on the, the zone that needs to be reduced, and then work that way. And you can see what happens with the four and a quarter inch here, it's, it's hanging over the edge of the mirror quite a little bit, but by using the three different pitch laps, the left edge of the lap hits at a different place on the mirror each time. And so by spreading out the bad effect while concentrating the good effect in the center, I don't have quite as bad an issue with the inside part of that pitch lap. Now I'll show you how I actually make this correction here. I'll zoom in just a little bit on the corner. We'll start with the little three inch lap. Use low speeds on the turntable when you're out there in the edge. And one trick for this kind of uh, polishing or correcting, you want to pick a spot and start and stop there. Now, for my, I always have a marker on my turntable, but this particular mirror has a marker on it. It has a notch cut out, and I'll start when that notch comes around. And that notch will be my marker. So here comes the notch. So I set up the pitch lap, and I just use a tangential stroke, very very light pressure. If you put any sort of pressure on a pitch lap when you're doing this sort of correction, it will leave marks on the mirror. Uh, these little teeny pitch laps get a very large PSI, a very high pounds per square inch of force on them. Uh, so you have to be very careful to uh, use a very light touch when you're doing this. So you make up for it, use a light touch and go a little longer while you're doing your correction. So this is a three inch uh, pitch lap. My zone was at 8.2 inches. So if I take half the size of the pitch lap, that would be an inch and a half plus the 8.2 puts me at 9.7. So I'm just about a quarter of an inch inside the edge of the mirror here with this three inch pitch lap. Doing a little stroke that's a couple, two, three inches long. And I'll just go around the pitch lap, like, or go around the mirror like this uh, for the required amount of time. So we'll pretend that my time is up here. And now I'm going to switch and I switch from the three inch pitch lap here at my marker I bring in the three and a half inch pitch lap and just continue on. Now I've got again the center of the pitch lap is at the 8.2 inch mark uh, but in this case this lap is three and a half inches in diameter. Three and a half would be divided in half would be one and three quarters so 8.2 plus one and three quarters puts it right tangent at the edge for the most part. So I'll polish with it tangent to the edge here for that amount of time. Uh, one thing 
that you want to do to uh, again stop any marks from ending up on your mirror is to vary where you actually do place the pitch lap. So I'll uh, do it for a while tangent there, then I'll move it in about an eighth of an inch, I'll move it out an eighth of an inch, and then after the time's gone there I'll switch over to the four and a quarter inch lap. Four and a quarter divided half is uh, two and an eighth, two and an eighth plus the eight point two puts it with uh, quite a little bit of overhang this time. So again the center of the pitch lap is where I want the action to go but the edges of the pitch lap fall at a different spot. So this is a nice technique to use when you've got a problem uh, with a pitch lap not being quite the right size for the zone. In this case the zone was really really narrow. It's not practical to use a pitch lap small enough to handle such a narrow zone. So you kind of uh, rig it so that you're fixing the problem and spreading the damage that you're causing into different locations so the damage isn't as bad as it otherwise would be. So that's the technique that I use to fix a narrow high zone toward the outside part of the mirror.